Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you already know what it is. It's your boy Gerard Street Gavi, and you're now tuned in to What's the Motivation, you dig? <laughs> Uh, I love it. I think it's a lot of work that still can be done, like, to create the togetherness. Uh, We're trying to build a scene here where you don't have to go to New York and you don't have to go to L.A. and in the South. Atlanta, you don't have to go to Atlanta. We, we build our own industry right here. Like, like the A&Rs and the, the label execs, they can come here. Like, really, we don't even need them. Like, we our own label execs. We got to start creating and starting from somewhere. Um, we see these videos on TV, these other artists and stuff, and you know you get caught up in just wanting that right now. Uh, if you grind the way you're supposed to, you can get that stuff on your own without being in the red and the record label, you know. <laughs> you get with a record label, it ain't nothing but a bank loan with, with super interest. So and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's built for you to fail, so... If you, ain't, if you don't get out the red, you stuck in the record label and the record deal. You don't want that. You want to work for yourself. That's not easy because, you know, people hear people throw that word independent around and it's not a game. See, the difference between independent and major, some people might want to be on a major label because you really don't have to do that much work because they got it set up for you. But the, the catch-22 to that is, Everything they setting up for you, you got to pay for them services. You see what I'm saying? Uh, independent, you got to come out your own pocket for them services. But the feeling is so much better when you win at the end of that. So I would tell, I, would, I mean, to each his own. Some people want to take the major route. Some people take independent. Me, I'm with that in the mud. I like to get in the mud, so I'm independent with it. How am I dealing with the pandemic? Well, <laughs> it's life. Life, this is what life is about. Stuff like that. Like, you know, people be thinking when you're getting money and stuff, you got to be prepared for all kind of situations that happen in life. Like, this is Earth or planet Earth. Things like that happen. Um, I never saw nothing like this coming, but you had to quickly adapt. And it's moments like this, you figure out who you are as a person and, 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 and what are you made of. And I just, you know, I had to make sure me and my family straight. I, I, I haven't been doing all that partying and all that just because I got a son. My son, you know, he about to be two. I don't even, I don't even play like that. So I've been social distancing as much as I can. I ain't been going to no events and stuff like that. Just because I feel like I just got to stay away from it because I don't know the complete, all the information information on it. So, but I'm, I play as it safe. I believe in it. I know it's true. So, you know, I just been adapting and just, man, just taking care of my family and making sure, you know, everybody in my family good. Uh, my last project I just I dropped was Chozo. Um, you know, every now and then I get that urge. I might be running around and I run into a lot of people, a lot of people. And they always, you know, they get at me. Man, come on, man, come on with it, come on with it. So I did Chozo and we did good on Distro Kids as far as the distribution and all that. Uh, they were streaming and we had actual hard copies. I'm always go hard copy because you know I'm old school. So yeah, and um, we did good on that project and now guess what? We got enough money to fund Chozo 2, which is going to be the Chosen One project, which is coming next. Um, I just shot a video. We just dropped a video uh, with BDR. I Don't Want to Cry, produced by Presto. Uh, my little homie, Kill with the cam, he shot that. Uh, other than that, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, working on Chozo 2 and, and, and shooting videos, and you're going to bring some visuals from the last one out. <laughs>